Amen, amen, amen. Praise the Lord. New Horizons Church family and friends. This is Pastor Wiggins. I am the pastor of the New Horizons Church where Christ is the way and the word is clear. You know, each and every July during our uh, month, or excuse me, during the summer months, we take a time out to just read through the book of Proverbs, to read through the wisdom scripture each and every day. And so I decided I wanted to pray with you through the Proverbs during this month. And so each day we're going to be reading a proverb, reading a wisdom scripture, and just believing that God is going to reveal his wisdom to us, his skillful design for us in life, to live life skillfully. And God has promised us that he who gets wisdom loves life. That's in Proverbs chapter 19 and 8. He who gets wisdom loves life. God is going to give you our passion back for life. He's going to give you a, a love for life. He's going to give you a, just a desire for the things of him in this life. And he says, the one who cherishes understanding will soon prosper. As we devote ourselves to understanding God's word, he says he's going to send prosperity to our souls, to our spirits, to our, to our uh, physical and emotional resources. God is going to prosper those who cherish understanding. So today is day number two. And we're going to be reading from Proverbs chapter two and verse number six from the new international version of the word of God. Proverbs chapter two and verse six. Here's what the word of God says. For the Lord gives wisdom from his mouth comes knowledge and understanding. Amen. Proverbs two and six says for the Lord gives wisdom from his mouth comes knowledge and understanding. We want to pray for three things together today as we go before the Lord. Number one, we just want to simply pray and ask the Lord for wisdom. We just simply want to pray and ask him for it. James said, if we lack wisdom, just ask God for it and he would give it. Secondly, we want to pray and ask the Lord for knowledge. We want to ask him for knowledge. And then thirdly and finally, we want to pray and ask the Lord for understanding. Wisdom knowledge, and understanding in all things. Come on, let's pray to the Lord today. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, God. Glory to your name in the highest. Jesus, you are worthy to be praised. God, we exalt you today. We extol you. We lift you up and we praise your holy name. God, we just come before your presence with thanksgiving God, we enter into your gates with praise and we bless your holy name. God, you are great and greatly to be praised. You are wise and all knowing God. And we bless you and praise you for being our God. God, we come before you and we repent of our sins. God, we confess our sins to you, knowing that you are faithful and just to forgive us and to purify us of all unrighteousness. God, we plead the blood of Jesus upon our lives and over our families and those that are connected to us. Lord, we want to set the stage. We want to set the atmosphere for you to be able to reveal your wisdom to us today in the mighty name of Jesus. So, Lord, today we just come simply asking you for wisdom. You told us in your word that if anyone lacks wisdom, they could come to you, O God, and you would give it to us liberally. So, Lord God, we we admit that we do not know how to live life skillfully. Lord, there are decisions that we need to make. There are choices that we need to make, God. There, there are plans that we need to put in place and to execute, and we need your wisdom, your discernment to be able to do it concerning our families, Lord, concerning our walk with you, concerning our children and our spouses and our loved ones, God. We need wisdom. We need wisdom in our business dealings, in the marketplace, as we're making choices about what to buy and what to sell and what price to set and what price to accept. God, we need your wisdom. You said you would give it to us liberally, even as you gave it to Solomon, Lord. So we pray that you would give it to us, that we might live skillfully before you. Lord, we also need knowledge. You said your people perish for a lack of knowledge. Lord, we come admitting there are things that we know, but we also come admitting, God, that there's so much that we do not know. Lord, we don't think the way you think. Your 
thoughts are higher than our thoughts and your ways are higher than our ways. As high as the heavens are above the earth, that's how far your thoughts are above us. So God, give us knowledge as it relates to your word. Give us knowledge as it relates to your purposes for our life. Lord, help us to know your will and your plan and your purpose for us. Make it clear to us that we might be on one accord with you, that we might do your will on earth as it is in heaven. And God, we also pray that as you give us wisdom and as you give us knowledge, Lord, that you would also supply us with understanding. God, we want to understand your word. God, we want to understand what you would have for us to do. God, we would want to understand your will for our life. God, we would understand, God, the ways that you would have us to take and the things that you would have us to do. God, give us understanding. God, we cherish your understanding above all. Lord, help us to not lean to our own understanding, but in all of our ways, oh God, help us to acknowledge you. When the world doesn't make sense to us, God, help us to understand your will for us in this world. When things that happen to us, God, we don't understand it. God, give us supernatural wisdom. Give us supernatural knowledge. Give us supernatural understanding, God, that we may be able to move forward and walk by faith and not by sight. God, we thank you that you are a generous God, that you are liberal with your wisdom. You are liberal with your knowledge and you are liberal with your understanding. And we stand ready to receive it today. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. The Lord said in Proverbs chapter two and six, for the Lord gives wisdom from his mouth comes knowledge and understanding. You know, when a person speaks, they speak with words. And so out of God's mouth comes his word. And so if you and I are to get wisdom, knowledge and understanding, we need to spend time in God's word. So I pray over this whole entire month as we walk through and pray through the book of Proverbs, you will, in fact, receive godly wisdom, godly knowledge and godly understanding and that you would be blessed as a result. I love you in the Lord. Share the channel with somebody. Pray with somebody about the wisdom of God. And I'm believing victory in your life and everyone that is connected to you. We'll be back to pray with you again tomorrow. Be victorious. God bless.